Now, we 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Ooh, I am counting down to the start of this weekend and this perfect weather in store. That's what's getting me. Mm -hmm. Not only is it the weekend, th I'm not being exaggerating. This could be the best weekend we've had since April. Oh, I am ready. I mean, it's my heart is being fast. <laughs> well, take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Sun, Come on, you know? weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be next to perfect, though. Now, unfortunately, we have a whole lot of cloud cover and a little bit of rain to get through before we get to that perfect, but only a little bit of it. Take a look right now at 31 triple Doppler. Kind of a mess, but I'm going to explain to you what we're seeing. 1120 on your Friday, and basically the gist is if you're seeing blue, that is feedback, particularly those darker blues. Where you're seeing green, that is rain. So this cell in northern Madison County, just east of Hazel Green, that's a little bit of rain. This, These two cells in Franklin County, a little bit of rain. The green down in our southern counties, rain. All of this blue mess right here, that is not rain. That is feedback from our radar it's called a radar bloom. We have an Elo Answers on it. We'll have another one of those soon. But the moral of the story is if you're in that navy blue, you don't need your umbrella right now. 81 degrees in Muscle Shoals, 77 right now in the Rocket City as you're heading out the door, 76 in Fort Payne and Coleman. You're heading out at 73. So if you're getting ready for uh, this afternoon, going to get an early lunch, you'll notice our southern counties where we're slightly rain cooled, those are the cooler regions. As we see a few more scattered showers come into the mix, we're all going to kind of see a cap put on our temperatures today. By the time we get to later this afternoon, that light rain will creep north. Now, it's not going to be widespread. Today is quite similar to yesterday in that the rain that we do see, very light, very sporadic, and just those light showers, nothing really too heavy. Kind of here and there around 4 o'clock as you're getting ready to head home from work, and then it sticks with us, tracking south and east. Fast forward to 7 o'clock this evening when we're getting ready for one of the 40 big game Friday night, Friday night football games across the northern portion of the state today and the vast majority of us are dry. We will see just a little bit of that drizzle in our southeastern counties, but I want you to notice how light green that is. That means it really is just drizzle. So probably honestly not even enough for you to need your umbrella. You're going to dodge that shower for a couple minutes and then it's going to be out of your way. We start to see a little bit of clearing from the clouds by the time we head to bed tonight, and that is just foreshadowing of what's coming tomorrow. But here's where we're at temperature wise. We're going to make it to a high temperature of 84 degrees later this afternoon. That is well below average. The cloud cover and the rain cooled air are the reason for that. And then tonight it's the Madison Bowl for big game Friday night. So 78 degrees at kickoff sitting at 73 when we get to the last play of the game. We're going to be comfortable to start the game. A few of you might be on the chillier side of things at 73 degrees a little bit later because you have to factor in that dampness and gloominess from the earlier rain. So one of you or two of you might want a light sweater. The rest of us, maybe not. All right, here's what we're looking at this weekend. This cold front far to our north is stretching south and east quickly, moving into our area, ushering in a whole lot uh, more comfortable air. Our average high temperature right now is 89 degrees, but we'll be sitting in the low 80s both Saturday and Sunday. But I really want you to soak it up. By the time we get to next week, we're right back to nearly 90 degrees. That cold front also lowering our humidity. Gradually getting lower and lower on Sunday, those dew point humidity levels are so low they're not even registering on the muggy meter. So enjoy a near perfect weekend. And then next week we're talking about high temperatures back to nearly 90 degrees and a whole lot of sunshine. We will have a little bit of rain coming late week though with yet another cold front. Oh, I'm just staring at those 50s right there. I saw the low of the 53. I'm like, oh, can't get over that. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I love my slippers, like my house shoes, uh -huh. but it's too hot to wear them in the summer. And I saw them in my closet the other day and I thought, I'll be back for you soon. Exactly. Get that fireplace going too. <laughs> Very cozy. Well, thank you, Grace. Thanks. And make sure you all stay with 